Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and today the topic we are going to discuss is the periodic queens. As you remember in the previous video we discussed about the permanent queens. We discussed the permanent queens, isn't it? And today we are going to discuss is the periodic queens. Now the difference between the permanent and the periodic queens. Let's see. Let's absorb that also. Permanent queens as the name suggests, isn't it? Like blows in the same direction blows in the same direction throughout the year throughout the year okay but here the periodic winds blows in the direction okay blows in the direction in the different direction sorry in the different direction in the different time of the year okay so here as you can see the differences permanent which in the same direction throughout the year it blows okay it does not change the direction but here the periodic winds blows in a different directions in a different time of the year means in the different seasons or in the different time of the year the direction of the winds also changes Understood. So here that is the main difference between the permanent winds and the periodic winds. Okay. Now let us understand the periodic winds with the help of an example. And the best example of the periodic winds is the monsoonal winds. Okay. Best example is the monsoonal winds. Now, monsoonal winds or the uh, monsoon is a term which has been taken from the uh, monsoon, okay, term. It's an Arabic term which means seasons, okay. Best example of the periodic winds is the monsoon because uh, during the um, you know the summers and during the winters the monsoonal winds change is direction okay so that is the reason it is also termed as a periodic winds also now let us see that how the changes of season takes place first we need to draw the diagram also Here comes the Tropic of Cancer which passes through the center of our country and the uh, Indonesian archipelago. Okay, so this one is your Australia. And uh, the Tropic of Capricorn is also passing through the... Mm. Now as we have learned the apparent movement of the sun, if you remember students, isn't it? So when the sun is in the equator, the low pressure is forming here, isn't it? But slowly the sun will shift towards the Tropic of Cancer. Okay, slowly the Tropic of Cancer and the signing over the Tropic of Cancer vertically signing over the Tropic of Cancer. Now the low pressure will be developed over the Tropic of Cancer areas in the northern plains of India, isn't it? Or the Peshawar of Pakistan and all. Now in that areas, the temperature will become very high. As a result, the low pressure is created. Now what happens is earlier the winds were attracted here in the in the equatorial areas, okay? But now the north and the southeast trade winds will collide here in the Tropic of Cancer, isn't it? If you remember, so here the students, so here students, what happened is the southeast trade winds, okay, which was blowing from Australia towards the Tropic of Cancer or towards the equator, okay, the southeast trade winds when the sun was here in the equator. Okay, but now the sun is in the Tropic of Cancer, isn't it? So this southeast trade winds, what will happen is it will cross the equator. 
okay because it has to reach the low pressure generated area so this south east trade winds when it cross the equator that means the Coriolis force will be affected on it as a result this south east trade winds will enter the indian subcontinent because of its deflection towards the right if you see here the south east trade winds are deflected towards the left but when it cross the equator isn't it it will you know, deflect towards the right so it enters the india okay so the indian subcontinent okay now over, over here if you noticed during the summer season in the northern hemisphere the winds are entering the indian subcontinent isn't it now these winds are blowing entirely through the water bodies isn't it through the indian ocean so it will be carrying lots of moisture in it and with that moisture laden winds when it enters india it will shower a huge amount of rainfall in the indian subcontinent okay so if you see the direction over here during the summer season during the summer isn't it the direction of the winds when it enters india over here it is from the southwest direction because it enters india from the southwest of the states of kerala so it is entering the uh, you know the uh, direction of the wind is in the southwestern side okay so this is during the summers now during the winters the scenario is again a quite different one now as we know uh, students like the apparent movement of the sun during the winters the sun will no longer remain in the tropic of cancer gradually it starts shifting towards the tropic of capricorn areas also isn't it so with that there will be the replacement of the high pressure and the low pressure also now let us observe through this diagram tropic of capricorn tropic of cancer okay now the sun which was shining over here during the summer season slowly it will start shifting towards the south isn't it and it will start shining over the tropic of capricorn now the low pressure which was forming over here the low pressure will form over the australian areas and the low pressure over here in the tropic of cancer will be replaced by the high pressure now we know that winds always blow from high pressure to the low pressure as a result what happened is the winds will start withdrawing from the tropic of cancer and it will slowly start moving towards the tropic of capricorn areas isn't it so when it moves towards the tropic of capricorn areas again it will be deflected towards the left in the southern hemisphere okay but here if you see that time when the sun is over the tropic of capricorn we will be enjoying winters isn't it now in the winters the wind when it withdraws from the indian subcontinent okay the wind which is withdrawing from the indian subcontinent it will be from the northeast direction okay now here students if you see here the periodic winds blows in the different direction in the different time of the year means in the summer it is blowing in the southwest direction and in the winter it is blowing from the northeast direction understood so this is the best example of the occurrence of periodic winds now another example is also there students that is the that is the land and the sea breach yeah, we have already done those things in the previous years also is it uh, like in the previous sorry, years previous videos also we have done isn't it like the differential heating of the land and water is it so the land is opaque whereas the water is you know uh transparent in nature so the water takes more time to heat it up isn't it and the unequal we can say unequal heating of land and uh, water so the water being transparent it will take more time to heat it up water being opaque it will take less time so here during the day okay during the day what happened is the land will be in high pressure and the oh, sorry the sea will be in high pressure and the land will be in low pressure as a result the wind will be blowing from 
no sea towards the land that is known as sea breeze isn't it now during the night time when we switch to the night time when we switch to the night time okay what will happen is now due to the uh, due to the unequal heating again the water will retain the heat whereas the land will quickly radiate back the heat so as a result the low pressure will be replaced by the high pressure and here the high pressure will be replaced by the low pressure so during the night time the wind will blow from land towards the sea isn't it that is called land breeze okay so here also if you see during the different time of the day or the different time of the you know the year the winds are flowing from one place to another or in the different directions so this is also the best example of the periodic winds okay so i hope the you know the periodic winds are clear to you people means in the different you know it is not uh, fixed or it is not permanent isn't like trade winds westerlies and all continuously blowing into the same direction throughout the year steady winds isn't it that is the reason we call it but here in the periodic winds it blows in a uh, you know the certain area for a certain period of time understood so it changes its direction uh, in a similar manner, students, let us discuss the another type of wind is also there, the local winds. Okay, now the local winds actually the you know the winds which blows in a small area, covers a small area. Okay, for a small period of time. Small period of time. Okay, now small period of time it may be you know for a few hours also it may be for a few hours also or for few days also it could be understood so there are best different like examples of the local winds also uh, for example loo okay then uh, forehen is also there isn't it? and uh, mistral is also there okay so there are many other examples also like uh, bora okay uh, Norwesters, mm. then we have uh, Santa Ana. So, in that way, there are many other list of local winds which prevails only in a small area for a small period of time, unlike the permanent and the periodic winds which cover a huge area. Okay, students, so these are called the local winds. So, students, let's discuss some of the uh, local winds also, examples of local winds. For example, Lu. Now, Lu is the strong, dusty, gusty, hot and dry summer winds which blows over the western Indo-Gangetic plain region of India, okay, as well as in uh, Pakistan also it blows. Now, it is, uh, you know, especially uh, strong in the months of May and June and due to its very high temperature, around 50 degrees Celsius exposure it often leads to the fatal heat strokes heat strokes means overheating of that areas next example is the foreign winds okay now foreign winds uh, occurs in the southern most uh, southern parts of the Alps area in the European areas now here what happened is the uh, moist winds okay blowing from the Mediterranean Sea are forced to rise along the slope of the uh, Alps mountain okay so when it reaches the higher altitude it will condense it will cool down and it will lead to the formation of clouds and the rainfall will also occur on the windward side but the air will not remain at the top of the mountain it will start subsiding or descending down isn't it so when it descend downwards the wind will become warmer okay so this warm winds are known as foreign winds so several other local winds are also there like mistral bora norwester santana etc which i you know the covers the small area and that too in the different parts of the world so students please do subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon because in the next video i will be discussing about the uh, variable winds that is the cyclone and the anti-cyclone okay thank you for watching